an incredibly educated population that has to live under the mores and the values of a middle age regime. It's incredibly painful to just accept that this is the way that it is. همیشه آتش زیر خاک سر بوده ولی این یکی آتیش خیلی تنده. President Carter was there visiting Iran. I was one of their hosts. Khomeini, he lied to them. He lied to everybody. 2015 happened. There was two, three weeks. Okay, we're like this, and then Allah. Then it came 2017, 2019. We have been on the roller coaster for the last four decades. Now we're on top of that roller coaster. Any government right now that runs on authoritarianism and dictatorship is scared. What a beautiful message it would send and reverberate outside of Iran. That's what we're talking about. It's a global conscious that has to move. Women, life, freedom is relatable to almost every woman. The people of Iran are doing great favor for other communities. This is how the world changed. This is how I'm going to leave a better planet for my kids. <laughs> I think the whole fight of women has been to have a choice if I choose to be naked or wear a headscarf. You're running a marathon and if you're alone, you lose hope. There is no going back from here. It essentially has been the first ever women-led revolution that has happened worldwide. Liberté, 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 liberté